What is up, fragrance community? We're back for another review, and as you've seen from our title, we're gonna be covering something from the house of Fubigant, and this would be Fougere Royale. But first, let's unbox this one. Let's go. That was quick. Now, here is a quick history about Fougeria. This one was made in 1882 by the House of Fubigant. It was discontinued, but it was re-released in 2010 and was made by Rodrigo Flores Rue. If you don't know him, I think you'd know him as the perfumer for the line of John Varvados or Varvados. So there you go. They are the first house in perfume history to create an aromatic fougere. So, for those of you who doesn't know what an aromatic fougere is, well, these are categories of perfume that makes you think of ferns or leaves. Which brings me to my first point, why you should have fougere in your arsenal. First, you're just not buying the juice in it, you're just not buying the packaging and all. You're buying a piece perfume history. Yes, that's point number one for having this in your collection. Point number two, the price. This one is really affordable. I've seen eBay or other online selling sites selling this one for around $65 or sub $100. The ones that you'd see above $200 are the ones, I think they're the X-Trade ones or the pure perfume ones. This one is Eau de Parfum. The $200 plus ones are the x -traits and I think they come with this black lacquered box housing this one. So yeah, for affordability and price for an aromatic fougere, it's definitely a steal. Now, point number three, why you should have fougere real in your arsenal. Think of any occasions, lounging in your house, reading, walking your dog, you know, just going to the office, running errands, semi-formal occasions, business deals, black tie events, all of those occasions are covered by Fugerio. Know that that is the fourth reason. Just look at that bottle. It's it's a piece of art. Come on. It looks so classy, so elegant looks so dignified but before the bottle let me just show you the box this is the box this is the front this is Fougerial it says here below who began Paris same as the one on the front it's the same nothing on the sides on the top you'd see the insignia it says letter H for Hubigant. And yes, there is your ingredient list, your batch code, and such. Let's go into the bottle. Such a lovely bottle. It's so photogenic from all angles. back this one the back is domed a little let's look at the top here is the top and that cap fits super snugly into place it's like a clean girlfriend and mind you this cap weighs a lot more than this MFK cap. So yeah, the attention to detail of the packaging. And they have this very classy looking plate. It's Fougerial. Just so clean. Looking at the bottle, you can see the crevices created. 
such details and beauty. Wow. You can get complimented even just for the bottle itself. Look at that. Nothing here on the sides. Nothing on the other side as well. And at the bottom you can see information, batch code. Look at that bottle. It's a piece of glass art. Look how majestic that is. So that's for a reason number four. Now I'll give you three cons for this. First one, you have to love green notes or leafy perfumes in order for you to appreciate this one. So that's the first con. Second con, this might seem like a little dated or a little too mature for you or this might smell of another era, so to speak. It doesn't smell like Armonico or Ultra Male. It's, it's got no sweetness in this. So some youngsters might find this a little dated. Now third con, this one, it depends on the wearer, but for me, I think this lacks character in the sense that it does not evolve over time. Not for the duration of its six to seven hour life. All I get from this is those ferns, those leafy accents covered with lavender talcum powder. So basically, it's a really clean, green, and fresh fragrance all throughout its seven hour life. And mind you, for the projection of this, it borders from moderate to intimate. So there's that to consider. With those being said, I want to hear comments down below. The comment section is yours. But again, these are just my recommendations, opinions, and suggestions. At the end of the day, you do you. This has been Alex, and yes, I'm out.